Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the adjustment levels to affect some uh, color balances in your uh, photo. So there are a few uh, spots that you can do that in. Um, now, I'm going to start with this one. This affects the white and the, and the blacks in your photo. So as you can see, if you click and move this around, you can really dark. Well, wherever there's darks, they become darker. All right. So this is something you may want to play around with once you have the color balance the way you want. You see here, it takes it kind of highlights his face a little too much. You could play around with that. The one that I I want to show you is the color levels. And in this particular photo, um, I'm just going to delete this. And I'm going to show you uh, what I wanted to do. Oops, I'm going to delete this too. Delete seconds here so what happens in this photo is pretty dark at the bottom so how do I fix that and it depends on your photo but uh, you know the color levels need to be adjusted I'm going to just show if the whole color level needed to be adjusted for the whole photo you would just click on that it looks like a little F and then you can just move this and it'll play around with it now you can really get funky here and you know, if you know what powers your hero have, has, you can like change the whole thing like this. And maybe like he's got a translucent glow because of his power or whatever. Uh, but be careful, you don't want to lose too much of the definition in the face. So I'm going to just go back to normal here. Command Z. All right. So I'm going to again go to adjustments. There. Where is that? Right here. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to make a selection. So I'm going to go Command Z. I'm going to use the lasso tool. And as you can see, this person's pants are a little bit dark. I'm going to go quickly here. So take your time doing it. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to go a little bit faster. So now I'm going to try and increase the levels. As you can see, I should probably move the selection. Um, I easily move it. I move the whole pants, which is maybe I, you could do that. Let's do that for now. So adjustments, and I'm going to uh, add this level, and I want to, to lighten it up so that it looks more like the top. All right, so that's kind of important, uh, depending on what you're trying to do. If your color balance is off, you might want to adjust the whole photo. Do like I showed you, where you can get some of these skin tones really uh, different. And you may want to use the selection tool. Okay, you got the selection tool, the lasso tool. Probably your quick selection tool is your best tool if you're going to uh, do something like add on to, uh, like just change his arm. So here you should, you got the plus and the minus. And I usually use the shift key. So I'll click, put my finger on the shift key, and oops, I'll just get the, most of the arm for now and do the adjustments after so plus plus and it kind of fixes itself and over here I need to go minus and I'm going to take this out oops I had my finger on the shift key which is bad okay and then you know make a good selection I'm going to add to that selection so put your finger back down on the uh, shift key and I would zoom in, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to uh, leave it that way. I'm going to just merge these two quickly here. Okay, and I, same thing as a while ago with my levels. If I want to just do this arm and get that to look really funky, it is one technique you can use. And I want to have this metallic look, like he's made out of metal. So you can select just one arm, then, you know, you can duplicate this for each selection that you do. So, you know, duplicate a uh, layer mask, but make another selection before, and then you can just keep doing that for the whole character, the parts that you want. All right. So hopefully that you find that uh, useful. That's definitely techniques that you can apply to enhance your hero.